big tax reforms. Coach uh, Robert Morales, any thoughts on the fact that Steph Curry's going to miss at least the next two weeks? Uh, well, it's obviously disappointing for Golden State. Um, you know, M MVP in a great season doesn't impact us, but um, you know, you hate to see play any player get hurt. Hi, Terry. Oh, see us uh, at what the affiliation? <laughs> Comcast Sports. Thank you. Uh, no one are hearing that JJ Reddick's deal is, bo is bothering him. Does that change the way you might attack him or approach him? Not really. Uh, you know, I think I think most people take those kind of reports with a grain of salt because you assume they're going to be a hundred percent, and if they're out there going to play, uh, they're going to give it all they have. So. Um, We'll give him the same attention defensively, and we'll probably run a lot of the same. We're not going to overhaul our offense, and but we'll see what's working. Casey Hill, uh, What emotion are you trying to convey when you did that thing? What's that? I'm just uh, trying to get across. That's uh, that's uh, relieving frustration. Uh, and it takes a lot of work to loosen your cheeks to do that. Do that well. I would do it again, but there'd be another vine out there, so I'm not going to do it again. Yeah, how do you keep the talent though? How do you keep your cheeks loose when I know that during the game you're you're pretty tense? So. Well, that's a way of relieving relieving that tenseness. So it's about being present and knowing you need to loosen your cheeks. Yeah, yeah. I can talk to you off camera about that. Great, thank you. <laughs> no more questions about loosening your cheeks. <laughs> and at my age, loose cheeks, that's not a good topic. <laughs> <laughs> he started it. <laughs> Terry, uh, Dan has been USA Today. What did you tell your team to expect tonight with Clippers? Um, more, it'll be a more physical game. You know, judging from their comments post game, that uh, they're going to be more physical with us. Uh, you know, it's to be expected. And uh, the other thing was that it's. It never gets easier. I mean, as you move on in a series, the games never get easier. And it was it was a great win for us in game three, but it's not going to be easier in game four. Hi, Terry. Joe Freeman, Oregonian. Were you surprised that they didn't go inside more against you guys offensively early in game three? And do you expect them to maybe try to, because in game one, they really went at you there early. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I thought, uh, I, I thought our defense was solid. Um, you know, it's, you know, I think I think Blake had 16 shots. Uh, you know, he had his post ups. Uh, DeAndre was, does what DeAndre does. I think a lot of it was our rebounding. You know, particularly in the first game where uh, they were able to get some offensive rebounds, mm -hmm. and that was some of their inside. But <clears throat> you know, when we looked at uh, even game two, they only had eight eight points in the in the paint in the fourth quarter. When they beat us in the fourth quarter. Of their 35 points, only eight of them were in the play, were in the paint. So it's not uh, they're they're such a talented team. Uh, JJ Redick and Crawford and Chris Paul are going to shoot <clears throat> from the outside, and DeAndre's going to do his thing, and Blake's going to do his thing. Okay, wrap it up there. All right, Thanks, thank Joe. you.